what's up guys in the pinned comment join our locals it's only five dollars a month and you get tons of exclusive content including a fire lieutenant catch that has never before been seen on youtube and we cannot post till after his trial two and a half hours long awesome awesome job because he got arrested and a bunch of stinghouse content that definitely is safer on locals including a new stinghouse video in toronto where it's absolutely berserk on his knees and everything so be sure to join our locals and also you get to continue to keep this movement going despite whatever youtube does the power should not be in youtube's hands to end this awesome movement that we have going arrest in 39 states should not be stopped by youtube it should be in the hands of you guys to keep this movement going so consider supporting us and also you get to see a ton of content and exclusive live streams pin comment What's up, guys? Before this video starts, be sure to follow us on all platforms, including on Rumble, which you can find in the pinned comment. Um, this platform has been giving a lot of people like us a lot of problems lately, and <clears throat> Rumble is a lot more receptive um, to free speech and whatnot. So be sure to follow us on Rumble. Um, any video on here, you can also find on Rumble. And if you're looking for a video and can't find it on here, it'll be on our Rumble. So be sure to follow us on Rumble in the pinned comment like the video. What's up guys? A lot of you guys may know about the Gordon Flowers hoodie. However, we also have a fried pickles hoodie as you can see right here and Gordon Flowers sweatshirts that you can get in many, many different colors. Show your support for the Gordon Flowers movement and the PP movement by getting one of these. I can tell you they are very, very comfortable. Like in all seriousness, they are. And I actually do wear them. So uh, be sure to get one of these and enjoy the video. This channel is a group of investigative journalists who make educational documentaries showcasing and educating society, especially parents and legal guardians, about potential scenarios that result from young people and adults conversating online if left unchecked. We conduct thorough interviews with consenting adults in an attempt to understand their perspective on why they partake in these conversations online with people that are not of age. The goal of the interviews in these videos and the videos themselves is to gain an understanding of the perspective of the individual being interviewed so parents and the rest of society can be educated and aware of potential thought processes and desires of adults online to unsupervised persons not of age. These videos are not to cyberbully, harass, degrade, accuse, or threaten any individuals partaking in the interview process or in the video itself. We do not condone any of these actions. These videos are strictly educational and we grant full permission for academia, which is any classroom setting or in scholarly papers to show or cite our videos. To ensure that these videos are strictly used for educational purposes, we strictly adhere to YouTube's community guidelines, such as not revealing someone's personally identifiable information. In other words, PII. YouTube defines personally identifiable information as their home address, email addresses, signing credentials, phone numbers, passport number, medical records, or bank account information. We thoroughly look at and edit our videos to ensure that none of this information about any individual is shown in our videos. To ensure extra privacy for each person that is a subject of an interview in any of our videos, as of September 1st, 2022, to thoroughly comply with YouTube's harassment and bullying policy, there will be no mention or information about the last name or first name of any person in in our videos. Due to potentially illegal activities discussed in our videos, law enforcement in the respective jurisdiction we conduct these interviews in is notified of each interview and video filmed by us. We are not accusing any individual interviewed of being guilty or committing a crime. That is the job of law enforcement. We are not vigilantes and we do not condone vigilantism or vigilante behavior, such as taking the law into your own hand or not notifying law enforcement when a suspected crime takes place. We are investigative journalists. Trigger warning. Some of what can be discussed in these videos can be sensitive to some, emotional, or stressful. The only goal of these videos is to educate the public. At the end of each video, as of September 1st, 2022, there will be an educational portion at the end to discuss what was talked about in the video and to discuss what people can take from that video and learn from and tell others about. Our goal here is to bring awareness and educate the public. Now the video will start. Today, since it's not midnight yet, I put over 500 miles on. I'm exhausted. Okay. And I had to go down. I had to go down by Eugene, Oregon, today. Oh my gosh! And all the way back. And probably come all the way back. Well, I promise I'll give you the biggest kiss ever for. For having to go so far. All right, I want you to listen to me on something too. Okay. I have seen too many scams and too many setups, okay? Okay. Now, I want your word that you, I'm not going to be walking into a setup. No. No, I just want to see you. I don't want to be. I don't want to be walking into a bunch of cops or a bunch of teenagers taking pictures of me, my car, and turning me into the cops. 
I don't even know any cops. Last thing I want to do is have someone who's a truck driver and who does a good thing for this country. Like, I don't want that. I don't want to let it be ruined. I, don't, I just want to have a talk about what happened, dude. So, I'm not here to hurt you or do anything like that, but I need to have a conversation with you. Okay. So, I don't know if you're an Allen or Shelton or anything like that, but it's best we just meet up and have a conversation. I'm not here to rob you or hurt you or any of that. But I do have all the evidence in my hand, and I think it's best that you're just talking about it. Well, I don't want to meet up with anyone right now. Um, well, this is this is the thing. I'm not from Washington, so I only have today to do this, and I'm giving you, and I'm, I'm extending you the olive branch of having a conversation. Because if you don't want to, that's totally fine. But you know, the evidence is in my hand, man, and you know, I'm, I'm just giving you that chance to just have a talk about it. Uh, can I ask who this is? I'm just asking. Sure. My name's Gordon. Okay, uh, you have a father? I w I'd rather just explain that in person because I'm going to tell you an on-the-phone conversation about it really isn't going to cut it, okay? So, look, I have everything in my hand. I have all the text messages. It doesn't matter what you delete because it's all saved. It's pre recorded And it's already traced back to your account, all of that type of stuff, man. And, look... I believe there's such thing as forgiveness and all of that type of stuff, all right? I don't think you're some monster. Do I think that maybe you overstep? Sure. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you about that, but I mean, it's best we have a conversation. I understand, like, it's not convenient to just go out of your house and meet up right now, but it's also not convenient to have someone else have all this evidence in his hand. So I think it's best we get this addressed. Okay. And are you also looking for money, too? I'm Absolutely just... not. Absolutely not. I don't want money from you. I don't want you harmed. I don't want anything. All I want is a conversation. Where are you at? I'm in Shelton right now. Is it just going to be you and I? So, I do have people with me, but I do want to meet you in public so you can be assured we're not here to hurt you or take anything from you. And the reason I have people with me is because I don't know if you're carrying. I'm not carrying. Um, I mean, hold on, man. You're breaking up. Sure, sure. You know the connection here, right? So, you know, I'm not carrying. I, I want to be sure you're not carrying. That's why I have people with me. I don't carry, with, carry anything with me. Okay. So, there are going to be people there, but I do want to meet up in public so you can be assured we're not here to hurt you. Okay. I'd rather, like, meet in a safe way or any grocery store, convenience store. Something where there's other people around, but that aren't really paying attention. Because I don't want to put you on blast or anything like that. I'd rather just really just talk about it, man. Because... You know, I do think there's monsters online going after little kids. I do. But do I think you're one of those that's going to kidnap somebody or do any of that? Probably not. And I think it's best we just address this and have a conversation because uh, with all the evidence in my hand, I think it's just best we talk about it and just get this settled. Well, give me a few minutes. I'll have to show them. What do you want to be? Oh, well, I'm not from here. What's close? Well, you know where Walmart is? Walmart in what city? In Shelton. Okay, yeah, let's, let's meet there. What time can you be there? Uh, it take me a half hour to get there. Okay, 6.45? Uh, it should be. I gotta get dressed because I was about ready to go to sleep. Got it. Yeah, I mean, look, if I don't see you by 7, I mean, I'm just going to give up on having this talk with you, and I'm just going to have this evidence in my hand, and, you know, I, I think your best, I think your best route is just having the talk with it, getting it addressed, and, you know, get out, you know? And I have to admit, this is also my fault, too, because I was dumb. Hey, man, um, look, the, the fact that you're already telling me that, I, I, I respect that. I respect the hell out of that, but I still would rather have this conversation just man-to-man. -man, just figure it all out. What the hell happened? Okay, now, there's one thing I'm going to ask is when I show up, uh -huh. meet you face-to-face. -face. Right. I don't want none of your friends around me. All right, that's if I feel like I'm going to be sad, I will call the cops and I'll even uh, tell them to arrest me. Okay, totally fair. Um, they will, they're, I mean, they're going to have to be watching just in case, but yeah, they'll absolutely be at a distance. All right. All right, cool. See you by seven, all right? All right, bye. Bye. <laughs> that's all it took? Yes, dude. Whereabouts are you? Uh, did you want to meet in the electronics section? Talk. 
No, I'm definitely not here to threaten you, dude. I can assure you. All right, give me a minute to get, get a parking spot, and I'll be inside. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, bye. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's up, Eugene? Sorry to meet you like this, man. Let's kind of find a quiet corner, all right? Just you and I and not your buddy behind you? <clears throat> They're just going to be at a distance, all right? But, hey, man, look, I'm not here to... Let's go down this way. Let's do it. I'm not here to hurt you, okay? All right. I, that's a guarantee I'm going to make to you. You're not here to you're not here to get hurt. I'm not here to take your money, okay? No extorting is going to go on. I'm just here to talk to you, all right? I know. I want to just let you know I was stupid for <clears throat> doing this. Yeah. I just at times I just like to make friends to talk to. Mm -hmm. A lot of times things get out of control. Look, yeah, you got carried away. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Look, like I don't I don't think you need trouble at all, dude. Maybe some help. Yeah, that's okay. how I'm going to start getting into it. Yeah. i got to go see a psychiatrist. Have you thought about that before for this type of stuff? Yeah. Okay, when did this stuff start for you? I know it's not with Maddie, dude. What happened? Well, it's just been, had women my age just f***ing me over and f***ing me over and f***ing me over. Yeah. I've, I've kind of figured, or like younger, like more understanding of you. Yeah. Okay, like the underage, younger, more understanding. Okay. So how many years ago did this kind of start? Yeah, a long time ago. Like in person with people? Not with minors, no. Okay, just, just talking online? Yeah. How many years ago was that? Like, did that kind of start? Well, a couple of years ago. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Then it's kind of quote unquote, like, gone down the rabbit hole? Yeah. Okay. It's kind of lonely, then turned into an attraction, and that, yeah. okay. I'm going <clears> to <throat> start looking for a psychiatrist tomorrow. Okay. Cause and it, you got my word on that. I appreciate that's it. Good gentleman. Yeah. All right. Like, so I do have the messages here. I did I did take the liberty to go print them out. So obviously a lot of stuff. And I don't want to embarrass you, dude. Okay, I'm not gonna scream at anything, but we can kind of just cut through all the BS and just kind of be honest and turn this around or, you know, we can try to pry. I mean, was anything gonna be forced yesterday? No. Was it all gonna be, because you know, there's, there's, there's consent. No, I wasn't even gonna do anything to her. I told you that. Well, you're going to leave that up to her? Yes. Okay. So, basically all the, basically all the kissing, touching, playing with your, you playing with her body, all that was going to be up to her? Yeah. Okay. So that would have only, basically, the touching and playing and fun and, and would have only happened if she's okay with it? Okay. Well, see, even then, like, there's people that come meet those girls, mm -hmm. them, just do evil shit, you yeah. know, and you, you were just planning on having consensual Pretty much, if, if, if she was okay with it. If she was okay with it, or otherwise, because honestly, it's the first time I talked to her. Okay. This one. Okay. So. Okay, because you know the next time, kind of ask, dear, does your friend want to join us or watch us? Okay, so yeah. basically, this was mentioned a lot. It, I mean, I don't think you're gonna, but it was gonna only happen if she said it. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Appreciate it. So only consensual was in the plans for you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So <clears throat> I'm glad we can cut through all of that, okay? Because, you know, there's a lot to unpack here, a lot to unravel. And, um, you know, I, I think reading through all of this doesn't help anybody, you know? Yeah. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to ask them, they're not here to beat you up, but just to come, you can come a little bit closer, Bob. I'm just going to bring him up here, okay? You're not here to hurt him, are you? Do you have any weapons on you? Just gloves? Oh, empty your pockets. Just show them. Just show them. Phone. Yeah. Yeah. No, he... As long as you guys aren't here to hurt me. Definitely not. Hell no. Absolutely. Yeah. Dude, and like, I'm just telling you, we're not holding it here either, but I think it's productive that we do have this talk, you know? So, you know, I mean, we can pretty much cut through everything. I mean, there was definitely some... Some, I know. some unflattering well, stuff yeah. sent. Yeah. Was, did you kind of just send your, was that your that was sent? No, that was someone else's. Okay. I got it offline. Yeah, Eugene, that's not, 
<clears throat> maybe on maybe on some of them, but I'm, I'm not judging you. But I saw your I saw your fat rolls right there. I saw your match up to it. Man, there were some full body too. That was you. Full body was yes. Okay, so you sent some to yourself. Yeah. Okay. So, look, man. I mean. And you are a truck driver, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, that is the company I guess you work for. You, look, you do a good thing, man. You know, you do. I mean... I used to drive long haul. Yeah. Now you're just wide load? Local, local runs. Okay. Got it. I mean, dude, like, none of the stuff in here would be here without you. So, the paper for what I printed with wouldn't be here without you. So, I don't need... Especially with the supply shortage, you know. So, what else do you want from me? I kind of want to know like what happened because you know <clears throat> i just had a gut feeling i was being set up yeah or being busted by the cops sure you know because cops do set things up that way mm. and that so that's how i thought it was yeah but like you know obviously you came hoping it was real and stuff like that yeah. and you know you had your plans for if it was real and whatnot but like but, oh, like I told her, it's all up to her. Yeah, I'm that's what I... Hurt anyone. All her decision. Yeah. Okay. So, basically, like, you know, there's people online that really get people sucked into bad things. And, you know, I'm not saying... I think you as a person got sucked in. That may have never gotten sucked in, but you as a person got sucked in. And, you know, you mentioned Telegram... You mentioned all of this stuff that pretty pretty bad shit on there on telegram that telegram well, i've only gotten someone else on there once to talk to she was actually my age mm -hmm. and she stopped talking so is, is there like any <clears throat> is it like because i know how telegram works and there's pretty like bad people on telegram I've, i'm still trying to figure it out Mm -hmm. I'm not all that smart upstairs. Mm -hmm. You can tell. <laughs> yeah, no. With your spelling, I thought you were the 13 year old. <laughs> but well, my spelling's bad, yes. Yeah. How old did Maddie tell you she was, by the way? 13. Okay, got it. So she didn't tell you like 11 or 12, she said 13. 13. Okay. So that's just, I guess, what the assumption was then? Yeah. Okay. So do you actually live over in Allen? Yeah. Okay. Do you live over on that County Road 3? Off of three, yes. Okay, and that like kind of trailer secluded place? No, it's way back in the boondocks. Okay. Is it like 17 something, whatever? It's seven. Yeah, actually, they changed the address, which I don't even know it. Mm -hmm. They just actually went through and changed the old new addresses through there. So it's like Williams now? Or? Yeah. Okay, so you do live there? Yeah. Damn. I knew it. <laughs> okay. Why, are you guys going to come to there now? No, no. I, I was thinking about going there last night, but I saw another family called, like, the Flowers or something like that, and I was like, well, that ain't, that doesn't say Harrison, so. But when would you get into trucking? I've been in driving since 94. 94, okay. So I'm kind of curious. You said this started a few years ago for you. Was it just kind of to start on Instagram, Telegram, Twitter? Where did it start for you? Uh, Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. You just kind of joined some teen groups and then went downhill from there. I was for a while not doing it. Mm -hmm. um, I got shang bangled by some uh, a couple of adults. Yeah. Scamming people for money. Yeah. And that's what happened. Oh, right, here, let's kind of walk over that way. Music's a little bit loud. So it's just, it was. Just that when I got scammed by two adults mm -hmm. because of it, and then I gave up on a long time. Like basically, you talk to someone who you thought was younger, then adults call you and say, "Give me this money, or else I'm going to report you to the cops." Okay, so is that kind of what you thought this was going to be when I called you? Okay, well I'm not here to extort you. Okay, I'm just here to kind of flip this around and make sure you're on a better path and she's on a better. I'm going to be on a better path starting tomorrow morning. Okay, because. <clears throat> You know, you mentioned here, like, I do like looking at pics of young girls in their bikini. Is that on Telegram? No, that was on Facebook. On Facebook? Yeah. Okay, is that like the teen groups, or how do you find those pics? No, they just show up. Okay. Some other people. Yeah. 
So like, is it like adults posting those pictures? Some adults do, yes. Some kids also? Yeah. Okay. No, I do look at pages when they don't post the year. Mm -hmm. I won't add them. Yeah. But sometimes they're eight, you know, they'll post what year they were born. And if it's in the 80s and 90s, I know they're adults. Sure. Posting all that. Yeah. But I mean, that didn't stop you reaching out to Maddie. No, I didn't. And I was too bitter for doing that. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I'm admitting it. I appreciate your honesty, man. It takes a real man to do that, okay? So basically, you know, I know I know how Facebook algorithm works. It puts you down this rabbit hole. And you get sucked into these truly people that actually do want to hurt kids, take those pictures of kids. That's doing them no good, you know? But then you're just here to kind of consume it. And, you know, you do a fair amount of consuming, it looks like, of various pizza and stuff but like so i'm just curious so you know you go from facebook to telegram and look i know what's on telegram dude I, i'll show you what i've who i've got on telegram mm -hmm. that's a friend that i'm oh, still chloe. that's co-worker how old uh, chloe 40 Okay. That's a co-worker, mm -hmm. and that's my sister. Got it. So, so have, you ever, have you ever been added to like any groups on Telegram? No. no. Okay. Like I said, I'm not all that smart to do figure shit out. Uh -huh. I get a lot of uh, cam people, girls, wanting me to download certain apps. On, oh, okay, like they hate you up on Instagram? Yeah. Okay. Have, have you ever been sent this link on Instagram called like, called like Mega? Mm -mm. No, okay. So you've just seen basically bikini stuff and whatnot, okay. So besides the people that scammed you, you know, pretending to be minors, how many other, like, when did the talking with other actual minors start for you? About a year ago. Okay. Off and, on. and were they around Maddie's age? Some around 17. Okay. How many were around Maddie's age? Uh, just two. Okay. Her and someone else. Okay. I don't talk to her anymore anyway. Is the other person from Washington also? No. In America somewhere? No. Where from? What was it? Argentina. Okay. She's third. Did y'all video call? No. Okay. I don't video call with no one. Okay. Well, you asked Maddie too. Yeah. And we did it once. Yeah. Did did, she, did the girl from Argentina, was it kind of similar messages with Maddie just kind of flirting back and forth? Um, at first she was flirting, then all of a sudden she just quit and disappeared. Okay. Did she just kind of on her own free will send you photos? Actually, she had them posted on uh, Facebook uh -huh. to a certain point. Did she send you any? No. Did she send you any selfies? No. Did you ask for any? No. Okay. Did you ask Maddie for any photos? Yeah. Any ones that could be considered raunchy? No, I tried not to do that um, to my knowledge. I think I did ask her a couple times. Underwear. Underwear, underwear pictures? But she never did and I never pushed it. Okay. So I do like looking up at pics of young girls in their bikini. So you mentioned on the phone call, if Maddie was nine years old, you'd still let her, you know, play with her. So. I was just joking with that, <clears throat> but. Right, I know, but is that kind of the pictures you look at online of like those little girls in those bikinis? No, these are a lot older ones. Like Maddie's age? Yeah. Okay, so like basically teens to preteens? Yeah. Okay. I mean, like how do you think the, the, these type of fantasies started for you though? Because look, I know practically you're not gonna have a nine year old girl and do some stuff, but you know, if you're thinking in your mind, like it's okay if she's nine to basically play with my how did? How do you think? How do you think they, you got sucked in like that? Just, I have no idea. I don't. I mean, that's a pretty. You know, I'm not judging you for it, by the way. I'm just figuring it out. That's a pretty low age. Yeah, I know that, and I would never do anything like that with a nine-year-old. No. Right, but it's it's like a fantasy. Everything's. Everyone's got fantasies. Right. You do. You do. We all do. Mm -hmm. so. Have you ever been like? Have you ever seen like? Basically, maybe I'm let let buddy shop right here. <clears throat> Is that a microphone? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's
it's connected to that phone right there. We are filming for safety. But um, <clears throat> can you uh, go in the, we were supposed to shop here anyway. Can you try to get fried pickles from the frozen section? Yeah. Okay. Not how much longer. I, I know you want to, I got a thousand things you want to ask. And mm -hmm. I just want to hurry up and get this done. I know. Because I also can get home and start looking for help. Yeah, and I want to get you that too, because uh, like I said, just being someone so honest, I don't think you need trouble. I just think you need help. Have you told anybody else about stuff like this? No. I okay. Everything to myself. Okay. So nobody at the trucking company knows. No. Okay. And I don't want them to. Hey, I'm, I'm here to talk to you. I'm not here to call anybody. Okay. So, you know, I'm kind of curious, like about how far. I think this was, you know, having this as a fantasy the past couple of years. You know, this girl in Argentina, these other girls that are underage kind of now it's like someone in your area then you go to meet then you start asking about her friend and then you want her and it looks bad on that part sure is this just and again like you know like i said i don't think you're anybody i don't think you're in that category or ever will be i don't think you're capable of that but like you know was this basically something if it just be honest okay because i'm not here to judge you it, the, what is important is nobody's harmed and like whatever's happening is happening, but was kind of the plan to incorporate the friend in this relationship? If they wanted to. Okay, so it would have been like voluntary polygamy. Yeah. Okay, and eventually, I don't. I forgot if you did or not, but would you ask the friend to join in if she wanted to? I wouldn't, it would have been Maddie's choice. Okay, so it would have been up to those two 13 year olds to be in a relationship with you, okay. What was the end goal here? Was it just gonna be something kept secret? Did you want to marry them or? Yeah, just keep it secret. Okay, okay. I wasn't trying to hurt anyone or anything else. Like I said, last night just felt like I being, was being set up mm -hmm. and everything else. And that's why I just, I blew it off and said the heck with it. Yeah, you know, I was really, uh, I was really, uh, I was really, pissed at you last night for leaving but you've been so damn honest with me now and i i really appreciate that and especially with how you're built you really grew on me okay so i, I really I, I really appreciate your honesty man okay but i mean yeah straight up can you sneak out do you want to have sex with me it's all this was all this and you this was written by you not hacked i know okay Everything on there probably is, has come out of my mouth. Appreciate it. So you said you went to Decatur High School? Mm-hmm. Where's the, you're not from here, are you? Oh, wait a minute, I never told her I went to Decatur. Oh, I saw it on her Facebook. Oh, okay. Where's the kid which Decatur? There's like ten million in the US. In February. Oh, okay. Oh, so you're from Washington? Yeah. Okay. So you're are you a junior or a senior or a fourth or that's it. Because I saw there was a Eugene person that was like 107 years old that passed. And I was like, just you? No. But. No. Just plain old me. Okay. Now, were you guys there last night also? Or? Yep. Basically, I mean, since you were honest with me, I'll be honest with you. We were basically waiting on you to drive in, walk to the door, would have confronted you. Okay. And. The picture that I, you know, you saw the picture of her by 203. That was photoshopped. I'm sure you could probably tell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're not that dumb. We, we've got we've got people with that before. So you mentioned like <clears throat> this could be the cops or a sting. Did you mean sting as in not the not the cops? Oh um, no, meant the cops. Meant the cops. Okay. Now do you guys do this all the time? Yeah. Yeah. What was what was going through your mind last night when you drove off? What did you think was going to happen? Because I'm kind of curious. Like, this is the day after. I've never really had this talk before. I just, I don't know. I just, Were I, you, just I just, you know, got scared and said, the heck with it, and I just left. Okay. Not sure it even showed up at all. Were you worried something was going to happen to you? Yeah. Okay. So you didn't think this was just going to go away? 
No, not really. Okay. I'm hoping as soon as we get done talking here, hopefully in the next few minutes, that um, we can just say, put this behind us. I'm going to look for help, and I do mean it. I got the insurance that'll help me get it. Do you get that through your job? Yeah, I'll go through my job to do it. Okay. Um, but I'm seriously, I just don't want, I just want to hurry up and get this done with. It's embarrassing, isn't it? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Do you do you consider yourself, and again, I'm not judging you, because I mean, I told you I deal with this shit all the time, and I've come, let me tell you this. Yesterday, we were in Myrtle Creek, Oregon, and we came to you tonight, or last night, we caught an elementary school teacher with a child who works around little kids. So if you think I put you in the same category as him, um, I don't. <laughs> you probably think that guy should be getting don't you? I should be too. Right, but, well, not right, but like, you would, I don't think you consider yourself that guy. No, I would never hurt, harm anyone. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I never force myself on anyone. I never have, never will. Mm -hmm. So, you know, basically what I'm kind of getting at is, do you consider yourself a So I'll be honest, it's okay. I, I don't care. Probably the, the way you look, especially what you got in your hands right there. Forget all this. Do you consider yourself one? Probably, yeah. Okay. How long have you considered yourself a Or has it been after, like right after high school or? No, about the last couple of years. Okay. Was it was this always something that was in the back of your mind or did this back of my mind, yes. okay so what was it did you just kind of see like younger girls and just in person maybe just walk and go like oh they're cute and just go on about your day and yeah. okay just like basically prepubescent girls okay what's what <clears throat> what do you think with attraction like what do you think your limit is do you think it's like an infant or a toddler or oh, heck no, I would never do probably like eight or nine maybe yeah. Okay, well, you fantasize about a nine-year-old, so I know that line's there, but... Well, I was just... In a way, that was just the same. Mm -hmm. I, wasn't, I don't want to fantasize about it. Sure, yep. So. No, I know you don't. Yeah, I'll just let him pass. Hey, how's it going? Good. Thank good, you know. good. Yep. Yeah, I know, like, you don't... I know you don't fan... I don't even want to fantasize. But what, what do you think is the youngest you have fantasized about? 13, that's it. But you fantasized about a nine-year-old? It just the same. That's all it was. Okay. I never had, I just never looked at a nine-year-old. Okay. I've, I've helped. Excuse me, I got a pot mm, mouth. You're good. I've got nephews and nieces. I've helped raise and everything else, so. And. I would never do any harm to anyone, so. Have you ever been like accused of doing anything? No. Nobody said Eugene might have done this to my daughter? No. Okay. I mean, you know, do you, do you watch a lot of like just I watch yes. Okay, maybe. But not, not all the time. Not all the time. How long, is it weekly or daily or? Every couple of weeks. Okay, okay. And sometimes it's maybe months. Yeah. Has that kind of deteriorated into maybe a little bit too young? No. I still I only look at the adult ones. That's it. Do you type in like 18 year old though and stuff like that? On the sites they um, show 18 up. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Okay. Have you ever been like sent that could be younger on Facebook or Instagram or Telegram or any of that? I used to be on Instagram, but I got <clears throat> kicked off of it. For what? Um, girl my age, we were sending things back and forth, and she was being a smart ass, so I sent her a picture of a dog girl, and they kicked me off of it. A dog girl? Yeah. Okay. And it was legal age. She, I'd never go looking for that kind of uh, younger shit. I don't. I don't know how to. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, because I was going to ask, because, you know, I know people that we talk to get kicked off Instagram for those purposes. So has there ever been at all in your search history, because you said you don't know how to find it, have, and look, I didn't come here just knowing about Maddie. I kind of came here. I'm not dumb. I do my research. 
And the question I'm about to ask you, I assume I already know because I do, has there ever been a time where you attempted to find child like on Google or anything like that? I tried once mm -hmm. two years ago. Mm -hmm. Couldn't figure it out. Yeah. Or, or find it, so I just gave up. What did you try it out on to try to find child? No. Um, already? Okay. How did you find it? I Google tried to Google it. Like, did you just Google child? Did you Google like um, young girl or young girl? Okay. What came up? An FBI warning? Uh, no. Um, just popped up saying couldn't find it. Um. Sometimes it popped up saying um. Fuck, I can't even remember. Would it would it give you like different stuff when you try to look for it? Yeah. Okay, so that means you probably looked for it multiple times. So I, how, did, I tried it twice. Okay. But that's been like two years ago. Okay. But I just go to three sites that Mm-hmm. And it's only 18 above. Okay. So, Eugene, I know you didn't try it twice. How many times do you think you actually tried it? Just I only did it twice. Okay. Do you think it's, do you think it's over twice, but maybe under 10 times or? Because I know it's not twice. I'm, I mean, I'm not stupid. And like, I, when I, when I've seen, I've seen it, not, not itself, but I've seen your search stuff too. I know. How can you see my search stuff? I'm just, I'm just curious. Your number's out there. It's easy. Oh, it is? Yeah. Well. Okay. So basically, how many times do you think you actually looked it up? I don't have the number in my head. I just know it's more than two. Maybe five or six. Okay. Are you being honest when you say that? I think so. Okay. Do you remember maybe more? it's more than two? It's more than two, like I said, about five okay. or six times. But it just keeps popping up then. Was this like every few months you would try or sporadic or every day? Or? No, not every day. Okay. So. Was this like every few months you would try? Maybe about six months or so. Okay. When's the most recent time you tried looking for it? I haven't. Not really. But okay. Seriously, I haven't. Was it in 2022? Nope. 2021? Nope. 2020? 2019. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. When's the first time you tried looking for it? What year, you think? Twenty fourteen, twenty fifteen. Okay, so this whole thing isn't aimed a couple of years. It's been like a decade. Probably. Okay, so it's been probably more girls than another thirteen-year-old. Well, I don't know about that part. I, I, seriously, I've I've stopped for a yeah. long time because of that even yeah. scam. Ah. Uh -huh. Then it just. Did you end up paying them the money? Yeah, I paid them money. Okay. Got it. Uh, well. <clears throat> Let me see real quick. Not how much longer? <laughs> you're smart. You're not that dumb, Jesus, Eugene. But okay, so I, I'm serious. I just want to get this done okay. with right now. Got it. So basically, kind of going. I wanted to ask you about just kind of. Yeah, your phone's not working. Like it's not turning on. Oh, okay. Basically, basically like what I wanted to ask, you know, one last thing. I'm not judging you, but about the woman's underwear. It was a joke between me and a friend. Yeah. She was 30. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> she made me do a dare. Then it kind of turned into something you liked? Yeah. Okay. But she dared me to go, go buy a pair of underwear and mm -hmm. take a picture of it on my head and send it to her, so I did. So, and I just kept it. And you kind of wear it around a little bit? Once in a while, oh yeah. Okay. Did you bring it yesterday? No. Okay. Was it something you were going to ask Maddie to maybe have you wear, or? Mm -hmm. She wanted to? Yes, she wanted to. Okay. Was it kind of like a fetish for you? A little bit? A little bit, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so, was the plan ever to... So, basically, the plan was, you know, maybe for as long as you possibly could, to just have this polygamous relationship with Maddie and her friend if they're willing if they were willing okay. yeah and this but was it's, it yeah. was just up to them yeah everything was up to okay them. So, I never forced myself on right them. so this was just going to continue for like as long as possible if they were willing yeah okay got it well all right I'll um 
walk you to your car. You got to prove you got out safely. And uh, do I get that? Yeah, absolutely. Right. Only if you shake it hard. There you go. <laughs> So basically, what I think is probably best, you have my number, that's my real number. Um, I can... I'm gonna start looking in the morning. Yeah, yeah, and you know, what I want you to do is keep up, keep up with me, you know, like, just make sure you're in touch, because, you know, I wanna hold you accountable, you know what I mean? Because if I catch this again, you know, who needs a conversation, right? So... Yeah, safety, but like I said, we're not here to make you famous because I can, I have a pretty loud voice um, otherwise. <laughs> so. But yeah, so. Yeah, is, is your car over here? Oh, it's, it's, it's not your car right here? Over here, sir. All right, you can film regular now. Hey, yeah, what's going on? Okay, so we're just going to detain you for now until we figure out all the details of what's going on here, okay? Thank you for cooperation. Thank you for the audience. Oh, sorry. Yep. Okay. You want to just have a seat right here on the bumper and sure. not stand? That corner right is probably the key and right on the left. Yeah, I think if you were going to get them out, they would have had to come in there. Yeah. I don't know what you're going about. Do we have uh, all this stuff here? Do we have all this stuff here? Do we have all this stuff here? Okay, I won't ask you any particular questions if you haven't been Miranda yet, alright? So just hang tight. Absolutely. Um, All right. Yeah. If you can email me that, uh, if I can get a digital version of that. Yeah. So. And we'll send you the video too. Yeah. Everything you got. And okay. That way I can Good. file out the case. And then, uh, <laughs> roasting. Make sure you film that problem.